I didn't lay down to make my children. I stood courtside, watching as the decision of custody be dribbled between foster care, God-given mother Gavel and me. I dropped out of college to raise my niece and nephew. There's been days I turned down my plate with a meal couldn't stretch three ways. I picked up extra shifts at work, made the phrase Christmas miracle my children's reality, it seemed. Nothing was too much until it was. And I didn't think something so small could highlight every huge sacrifice. I mean, I was the best aunt in the world before I was a subpar parent. And now I feel like a failure in both roles because I got mad at my niece for taking my book bag. It was the last thing that was just mine, a promise to return to myself when I was done being theirs, an anchor keeping me from drifting into a forever of motherhood it held my last semester in its belly. A dream of going back, a dean's list letter and a half-written speech for debate I could have finished if I were selfish, but I'm not. When ink exploded in my niece's book bag, she took mine, evicted my only evidence of academia, and says, it's because I don't use it anymore. As if she and her brother ain't the reason for that. I understand her needing a replacement, but I don't think she understands how much I never needed the reminder of how I stopped being a student when I started being their mother. I dropped classes to pick up their parents' pieces. I've used all of me to hold them together, and I haven't had enough time to fall apart about it. I swear, I try not to live my life in what ifs, but what if I stayed in school, became the rich auntie instead of just their struggling mom, what if? Weeks go past, and my niece starts to tell me everything she likes about her new book bag. And the list is identical to the things I loved about my old one. I want to say, yeah, I like that too. But I don't allow sarcasm to become a part of our schedule. I need her to have a safe space, even when she is the one to rob me of my own. I keep telling myself, girl, you love this job. You are the best aunt in the world when you aren't a mediocre mom. I promise us parents don't get enough sleep at night to daydream and still. A mother's love has to be enough to cover a multitude of inconvenience. My niece started college last year. My book bag made it back to school before I did. But I promise, I am more proud than I am panicked about a shrinking timeline. All my resentment is replaced with wishing it didn't go so fast. I keep my niece as my screensaver so I can still see my baby's face every day, and I am ashamed that I was ever mad about a book bag when she used to live out of one. <laughs>